Yeah, so there's many different types of autoimmune disease in rheumatology. And what's really interesting is that a certain disease can present in different people in a million different ways. So it really depends on which part of the body is being recognized as a foreigner in that particular patient. For example, in lupus, some people only get skin involvement, whereas in other people, their kidneys start getting attacked. Or it might be that their red blood cells start getting broken down. So it really is such a diverse field and that really one disease does not present the same way. Yeah, there's so many things about rheumatology that I really enjoy. And I think one of the biggest things is because it's such a diverse field and it can present in so many different ways that it's almost like we have to be detectives and kind of pick up the clues as to what it isn't. Lots of times it's excluding other things. And then it's a unique field in that we really rely on the patient a lot to help us. The relationship that we have, a lot of our clinical diagnoses depend on the patient history. So we really have to understand what their disease symptoms are and listen to what they're telling us in order to guide us to the correct diagnosis. I would say overall the main thing that keeps me going is really making the patients feel better. So that's either excluding other diagnoses, finally figuring out what their diagnosis is, and then really working with the patient to find the best treatment that works for them.